All right guys, today we are going to do a fun video because you guys love seeing fixed blades, I think more than anything. And even though I definitely love my folders, they will probably always have my heart and probably always be in my pockets. Today I thought I would talk about my favorite fixed blades going from smallest to largest, or basically my favorite fixed blade, but it keeps getting bigger. So starting off, my favorite fixed blade, that is the smallest one in the collection that is my favorite, is going to be the Browse Blades Silent Soldier in D2. You guys probably know I've had this guy forever. It is a long since discontinued little fixed blade, but it has to be one of the coolest, if not the coolest, little fixed blade in the collection. Stepping up from there, and honestly not stepping up much, is the Mora Eldris. Now, it's also important to note, this isn't necessarily talking about EDC, survival, bushcrafting. In general, this is just literally all of my favorite fixed blades going up in size. So this is definitely not quite what I would consider an EDC knife, but it definitely is one of my favorite fixed blades, and I'm sure that is very well known on the channel. Now, stepping it up even further, or maybe just a little bit more, is the TKL Nightshade. Now, this is definitely a little bit more of a defensive self-defense knife slash everyday carry with that reverse Tonto sharpened upper swedge, but it is definitely among the favorites, and so therefore, it is on the list. All right, next one up, and I'm sure one that no one saw coming was the really cool Microtech Tac. Now, I'm not quite sure if some people would call this a fixed blade because it is almost more like a very large hypodermic needle as opposed to a technical fixed blade, but meeting definitions, it isn't a folder, it is a fixed piece of metal, and it is sharpened as a kind of a stabby. Like I said, this is essentially like a very, very large version of a hypodermic needle, and I think that's what it was designed to be. So technically a fixed blade, self-defense tool, similar to the last one, the TKL Nightshade, but like I said, this is the Microtech Tac P, and uh, it is a really cool, very elusive fixed blade, if you will. All right, stepping it up even more, now we're actually getting into some serious knives here. The first one up is the Half Face Blades Disaster Junior or DJ Junior, and this one, or the half face blades at DJ, sorry. Um, this guy is very cool and just a nice solid piece of CPM 3V. What is there not to love about all of this? Okay, next one up is the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter, what I would consider probably a little bit less tactical and more wilderness oriented version of the Disaster Junior. This and the DJ are very similar in many ways, including being made out of CPM 3V. Stepping up just a little bit more is the Bark River Knives Bravo 1. This thing is one of the cooler blades. I absolutely love using outdoors and it is definitely one that has my heart. Very similar to the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter, just absolute dream to use in the wilderness. And going forward, of course, all of these blades are going to be more survival slash wilderness focused. So the next one up, the next step up is the Chris Reeve Knives Green Beret. Now this is the five and a half inch version serrated, but the Green Beret is very elusive, very cool knife. And one of my favorite things about the Green Beret is its stellar ergonomics. If you guys have not held a Green Beret, it is definitely worth it. These things feel so planted and so locked in in the hand and regardless to whether you choke up on them, whether you choke back on them, they just feel so good. Bill Harsey did a superb job with this knife. All right, then rounding it off with the largest and last, it's the seven inch version of the Chris Reeve Knives Pacific. And of course, what is there not to love about the Pacific? This is of course my modified one for wilderness survival, but once again, very similar to the Green Beret. This thing absolutely fits me like a glove and it feels so comfortable in the hand, whether you're choked up, choked back, or in any other hand position. This thing is just an incredible beast of a knife that I really enjoy. Very similar or akin to something like the TRC um, Apocalypse. Uh, it is a really fantastic knife. And once again, Bill Harsey did an excellent job with it. 
So anyways, I'll try to fit most of these guys on or in frame. It's definitely going to be very challenging, but that has been a look at my favorite fixed blades in my collection, just stepping them up, getting sequentially bigger. If I can snake this little guy in here, um, they are really a bunch of cool blades and really awesome. So definitely I don't always love or show my love for fixed blades as much as my folders, but undoubtedly there are some really really cool fixed blades in the collection and ones I've had the awesome opportunity to borrow, to check out, to, you know, run through paces. So I'm definitely very fortunate. And lastly, before we fully finish off the video, I thought I would throw in maybe the smallest of the fixed blades because it definitely is a little bit smaller than the Browse Blade Silent Soldier. This is a bit of a prototype or very old school um, Gavco Kiradashi from his original like knife making days. Obviously he still makes knives, but this is a very old school kind of mixture of a pry bar slash Kiradashi. And of course you have Gavco's logo right there. And for those wondering why it's blue, it's because it is in a, as I proceed to drop it, little Kydex sheath that looks like this. Very handmade, very, very old school and uh, rustic, but it is very cool. And really one of the like first things Gavco made. So if you're a Gavco fan like I am, this thing is pretty darn cool because he really made quite a few of these little Kiradashis and they're just so neat. They are really cool too to see like, you know, where um, Gavco kind of started at. So this is a little Kiradashi and uh, yeah, it just lives in this little Kydex sheath with that little hex head exposed so you could potentially, you know, screw um, on different bolts and stuff like that while the sharpened Kiradashi edge is covered. Anyways, guys, that rounds out about all of my favorite fixed blades. Of course, I have more than this, but these are probably some of my top ones worth talking about and worth mentioning. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.